Hey folks, this is Adam and today I'm going to expand a little bit on my initial video that I did on the reactor controller. So if you haven't seen that one yet, go ahead and do it right now because you're going to be very lost if you haven't. Right, as you can see, we've gone from 5 components to 9 components in total. It's going to it's very simple, right? It's just it's extremely simple if you have seen the initial video that is. As you can remember, this is going to be our P max. So this is going to be 31 because we're in the humback. This is going to be our second memory component and this is going to hold a value of 75. This is going to be our third memory component and this is going to hold our over voltage value which is going to be 0 0.667. So 0 0.667 or 6667. This is going to correlate to 1.5 times over voltage. Now, I'm going to do the basic wiring and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's very simple. This first memory component, as usual, is going to go right here. It's going to go into relay 1. And relay 1 is going to go directly into signal in 2. Perfect. That's done. Now, this one is also going to go into the multiplier right here. It's going to go in 1. This one is going to go into this multiplier as well, in 2. This multiplier then is going to go from here into relay 2. Signal in 2, signal out 1. And this is going to go into our divide component right here. Right? So remember that. Now this, we're going to take the load value out. We're going to go here, 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 and here. Perfect. And we got our basic set turbine output now with that done we can do the next phase of our reactor controller which is gonna be our fission rate or fission fission set fission rate yeah whatever um, so what we're gonna do now we're gonna take our 75 value because we haven't used this one yet signal out we're gonna go right here into our first multiplier and I'm gonna go right here this from here it's gonna go right here to signal in one so divider component one goes into multiplier component two right and this one in turn goes to divider two right here and then we're gonna take the fuel out take the fuel out bam, bam, bam. perfect and this goes back to the reactor set fission rate that's perfect we already got everything done remember by default the first relay should be turned on and the second relay should be turned off so we have to go into here go right here and turn it off why is that well we're gonna put a lever in and whenever we engage the lever basically this the state is gonna switch on both of them so that's what we want basically so let me add a lever real quick I'm gonna put it right underneath so it's uh, very close to it and this one, remember on the lever, we have to disengage this toggle, right? And then we can basically do it like this. Toggle state. We go right here. Toggle state. Perfect. We got everything set up. Now let's try it out and let's see how we did. Now, as you can see, the reactor controller actually works. Now, let's see what happens whenever we engage this lever. As you can see, the output goes up, so we have achieved an over voltage of 1.5 times. Be careful, because on the vanilla subs, the power output is very low, so whenever you get close to 3100, um, that's gonna start being a little bit smoky in there, so be careful of that. Well, also you can put 0 0.5888 for an over voltage of 1.7. Don't go below that because, well, your junction boxes are gonna start taking damage. And do not ever go for a 2.0 times over voltage. No, just don't do it. It's either 1.5 times or 1.7 times over voltage.